So this lab, we are going to see that how we can make queries uh, of tweets uh, in MongoDB campers. Um, again, campers is the GUI for MongoDB. It is similar as uh, pgAdmin uh, for post GRE circle. So we are going to log in with our host name. And also you need to type your username, which in my case is domain. And also you should have your own username and also your password. And by default, the, uh, the authentication database is admin. So uh, let's make connect. And once we connect it, uh, you need to find out the collection that is belong to you. So my collection is called demo. And also you can see the tweets that we collected from the lab 10. Uh, so this is again where you can uh, make a very simple queries. So for example, if I want to find out the tweets where um, the coordinates is not now. So, so coordinates is not now and I can do that. Okay, and you can see there are five tweets there where the coordinates is not now. And we can also do some other queries like uh, I want to check the favorite account is um, greater than one. And again, I need to put that one into a curly bracket. And I also want some more options. So for example, in this case, I just want to see the text is one. And also favorite count is one. So I just want to see the tweet text and also favorite count. Okay. And I also want to sort by favorite count. Okay. In the descending order. And I just want the, let's see the top five. Okay. Let's say find. Okay. Um, we now we see the top five favorite counts, a uh, favorite most favorite tweets on uh, that talking about uh, COVID 19. Okay, and apparently that those uh, language is not in English, so we can also further fill out that one. So, if you like, and and if you want to export those queries, we know that those queries are pretty complicated. You can go here and also you can export the queries. Okay. And you can export the queries in for new query, and also you can all you can export that in different uh, programming language. And um, and also depending on the index that you created, you can do a, a text search. So for example, here we do have a text index that has been created. We see that the language is English, um, so that means we can also do a text search. So for example, here let's say we want to search. Um, by our text index and we want to use search. Remember that the keywords we use is called COVID. Okay. Okay, uh, so they should be text. Okay, we use COVID, so that's uh, the top 10 uh, tweets that uh, favorite and contains uh, the word COVID. And what about the other keyword? Let's say election. Okay, so now you can see the results are, are slightly different. Okay, um, what is really more powerful is that the aggregation pipelines. Okay, so aggregation pipelines allow you to query or allow you to define the project, sort, etc. in separate stage and each output of the previous stage will be the input of the next stage. So this is really a very powerful um, tool that allow you to query those complicated data like tweets. So let's start from the, something that is very simple. So let's say we will use count Okay, the count is very simple. It just gave it a name, what will be the field name of the count result. So I want to see a number of the tweets. Okay, and now you can see, okay, so right now I have 3,800 tweets. Okay, so that's the number of tweets we have. 
OK, so let's, let's add one more stage and let's move that one before the count. Let's say we, we do a match. OK, and within this match, let's say we want to see how many tweets contain coordinates. So let's define the co coordinates query, which is coordinates that dollar not now colon okay so that the result of the first stage will retain those five tweets that do have coordinates and when we move on to the second stage it will tell you okay so how many of those how many tweets are there from the from the first stage so the result of second stage will tell tell you that how many tweets in this case actually contain coordinates. Let's do another search. Let's say that let's change the match here. Let's say we want to do a text search. OK, where we want to see. Uh, find out that how many tweets contain the keyword of election. OK, wow. So there are more tweets that are talking about election within our tweets. Uh, so in this case, I would say, okay, there are 18 tweets that are talking about elections. Okay, and next, let's see that we want to see that um, how many users are there and also um, how many tweets they sent out. Okay, or, or actually, which user sent out the most number of the tweets. Okay, so we want to see that um, which user send out the, the, the most number of the tweets. So we know that for each single user, we do have a user.name, or user.id, or user screen name. Uh, so we need, in this case, we need to use a group uh, function. So let's say group. And we're going to group based on the username. And remember, we need dollar sign here. And here we see that this will be a number of tweets. OK, let's say use sum plus one. OK, so now we aggregate um, the result based on the username, our username. And also we count how many times the username showed up in our documents, which equals the number of tweets that sent out by each user. Uh, let's sort that one. So sort. Uh, so this case we want to sort by the number of tweets we just created. Okay, with a descending order. So now we can see uh, those are the top users. Okay, and if you want to count the number of users, so this is also the time that you can do that so number of users and you can see we have this number of users and if you just want a top one user and you can use a limit okay so if i just want to see the top one user that sent out the most number of the tweets okay and actually uh, those two users have the same number of tweets but uh rep minor oh, MongoDB just just like this one. OK, so that is one way to find out which user sent out the most number of tweets and also how many users are there um, by using group, sort, and also a limit together. And actually, there's another way to do that, which we can use a sort by. OK, sort by. And we can use directly by using the sort by. So again, dollar user.name okay and we have the same result so this is easier and uh, you can also uh, limit say one result okay and you can see we have the same result and if you want count number of users and again you can use a count okay OK, you can see we have the same result. OK, uh, lastly, let's say that we want to count which is the most popular hashtags. 
Uh, so for the tweets, uh, if we go to the entities, okay, so some tweets may have hashtags and some tweets may have more than one hashtag. Okay, uh, so to do that, to get all the hashtags, the first step is that we have to unwind uh, those hashtags because those hashtags are item of the list. Okay, so, so we have to unwind it first. And here tell the path. So here we say we are going to use the entities and hashtags. And remember we need add a dollar sign here. Okay, uh, so now for example, each single tweet has multiple hashtags. And after this stage, if they have two hashtags, each single hashtag will belong, will be separate uh, to one document. So, uh, so now we just unwind those hashtags. So let's look at that hashtags. So let's say we do a project. And here, let's say we want ID, tweet ID, tweet text, um, and also entities hashtags. Okay, uh, so now you can see that each single tweet, uh, even they are, they are from the same tweets. Okay, so let's say, we, let's also sort uh, based on ID. So even they have the same tweets, for example, those both tweets, uh, those two results belong from the same tweet, and we can see here they have two hashtags. But after we unwind those hashtags, again, we can see each single hashtag will be assigned to one, do one result. So those, now those two different hashtags from the same list are now being unwinded to two hashtags, or to two results. So if I uncheck this unwind, okay, and now you can see for this tweet, it has two hashtags. Okay, so let's unwind this one first. And now we will see all the documents. Each single docu document has only one hashtag. So starting from here, we can group. OK, so let's say group. And uh, for this one, we're going to use the entities, hashtags, and also text. dollar sign and the field uh, will be the let's just call it count sum one okay and I should not have this period okay so now you can say we aggregated all the hashtag together and now let's say we want sort it one more time uh, based on the count and the negative one. Okay, and now you can see COVID-19 is the most popular hashtag. And if you just want the, the top one, so you can just limit. Okay, I just want the top one hashtag which is COVID-19, which makes sense because COVID-19 was the keyword that when we collected those tweets. Okay, to sum up, first we unwind uh, those hashtags. Okay, and actually we don't need this one and also sort. And next, we grouped those unwind text of the hashtags. Okay, so we unwind the text of the hashtags first and now we group those hash text of the hashtags so if they are using the same hashtags they will be grouped together and next we sort based on the count so number of times those hashtags has been used and finally because we are looking for the most popular hashtags we just want to limit one